So on Channel 4 News, the uh, Shadow Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rachel Reeves, uh, Labour MP, said something that um, was very, very disappointing, very disheartening uh, about transgender people and generally the, the rights of trans people. So she said that someone who is born biologically male, um, who identifies as a woman, would not get access to women's refuge centres under labour policy. So that's very, very disappointing um, and it's a further very depressing trend in the actions, the views and the policies of the Labour Party towards the transgender community. What Reeves is essentially saying there is that even though you identify as a woman, you're transgender, you are a woman, you're not allowed in women's refuge spaces. So you really, you're not. You're not really a woman. You know, they're, they're, they're drawing a line in the sand socially and in terms of, you know, societally, if you like, between women who are cisgender and women who are transgender. Now that's absolutely absurd, right? Because this, this has absolutely nothing to do with what chromosomes you have. This has everything to do with making sure that people who are in dangerous situations, who need help, can get it. Why should a trans woman be, be totally uh, rejected from that situation? Why should they be the ones who are, who are kicked out of that? Because they're not men. They're not. As much as transphobes like to, like to tell you that they are. Gender is about identity. It's a social construct. Ask literally any sociologist, anthropologist or biologist, right? It's a social construct. It's not the same as sex. So th there is absolutely no reason why you should be saying that we divide these people up based on their chromosomes or their genitals rather than gender identity. Places, women's refuge spaces should absolutely encompass protection for all women, help for all women. It doesn't matter if they're cis or trans. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I think Rachel Reeves should immediately be removed from the shadow cabinet. In, that, that's my view, right? And on this issue, we need to be talking to trans people as much as we possibly can. Because, I, I mean, opinions of, of cis people like myself, of course, you're allowed to have opinions on it. That's fine. But the people that we need to be listening to the most are trans people themselves. These are the policies that affect them. And in this instance, especially trans women. It's truly baffling to me. It really is. Um, that this is that this is okay and Labour doesn't even have a consistent policy on trans rights they really don't you know there are some people in the Labour Party like Rosie Duffield and Jess Phillips who don't believe that trans people uh, especially trans women should be able to access spaces that are for women and not men right they don't believe that they think that they should be separated or they should have to go to spaces that are for men now that's ridiculous for a whole you know, myriad of, of different reasons. But there on one end, and then you have you know, people who are really, really strong on trans rights. Um, and I believe you know, there, there, there are a decent number of them in the PLP, uh, to be fair. I think you know, Nadia Whittam, Zara Sultana, they're very good on trans rights. Um, Emily Thornbury is fantastic. And she, I mean, she was uh, brilliant um, in an interview recently where someone said, you know, um, do something, something along the lines of, do all women have, uh, do all people who have cervixes, uh, are they all women? And she said, well, I've got a friend who's got a cervix and he's a man, so no, because trans men can have a cervix, so no, obviously. Like, the, just the matter of fact, just candid, like, nonchalant way she addressed it I think was was excellent um, as long as you don't seem like you're coming across as rude I think that's actually a really good way of dealing with it uh, but we need to be amplifying uh, trans voices on this issue 
And it appears that whilst those are the two extremes, there are a lot of people in the Labour Party who sort of fall somewhere in the middle. Uh, I think most of the PLP, unfortunately, are closer to that Rosie Duffield, Jess Phillips sort of transphobic side than they are to the uh, to the actual, you know, the decent Emily Thornberry sort of uh, Nadia Whitham side. But there, 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 there is clearly no policy. If you, if, if, if the Labour leadership are totally fine with transphobia and don't think that trans women are women, well, just say that. Just say that, right? Admit that and have that in your policy if that's what you really believe instead of slipping and sliding and cowering behind the issue. But if you actually do care about trans rights and that is something that you genuinely want to take positive progressive action on because Labour is supposed to be a progressive party socially and economically, then do it and enforce that in the party and if people are transphobic, kick them out. Kick them out. Rosie Duffield should not be a, a Labour MP. Jess Phillips should not be a Labour MP. And Rachel Reeves should not be a Labour. I mean, she certainly shouldn't be in the shadow cabinet. I was very, very impressed by her climate policies today. Very impressed. Not impressed by her refusal um, about uh, renationalising energy companies and the railways and things. But, you know, for a minute, I thought, actually, maybe she's all right. And then she goes and says that. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, trans people really are the most marginalised in the entire country. Um, their quality of life is almost always far worse than, than every, everyone else. Um, and their life expectancy is much worse. They're much higher, they have a, have a much higher chance of, uh, of dying from suicide. We have so much work to do to improve the lives of transgender people in the United Kingdom and around the world. And the Labour Party should be absolutely at the very forefront of that battle, of, of, of everything that we need to do to improve the lives of trans people. And it's just, I mean, it's just incredibly disappointing uh, and really pretty, pretty despicable stuff that the Labour Party is, uh, is not recognising trans rights as human rights. Um, and making that distinction in totally ridiculous ways between trans women and cis women, saying that trans women can't be allowed in, in these kind of women's spaces, um, which is frankly ridiculous. What are you, you going to make them go to places that are for men only? What are, you, I mean, what are you talking about? They're not men, so why would... Yeah, it really is. It's very disappointing. Um, although not that surprising, given the recent developments um, with people like Rosie Duffield. But I, I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Do you think you know Rachel Reeves should be expelled from the Shadow Cabinet? Do you think she should res you know resign as as Shadow Chancellor? Um, or do you think actually what she said was reasonable? I mean, personally, I think it was absolutely absurd what she said. Um, but I'd like to hear your thoughts, um, as always. So leave them in the comments below if you so wish. Um, thank you very much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.